वेलकम टू इंजीनियरिंग फंडा फैमिली दिस वीडियो इज अ पार्ट ऑफ नेटवर्क थियोरी लेक्चर सीरीज एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई बी गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू वन वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग एग्जाम्पल बेस्ड ऑन ट्रांजिएंट रिस्पॉन्स यूजिंग लाप्लास ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन एंड इन दिस वीडियो वन वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग पार्ट दैट इज वॉट हाउ टू मेक वेव फॉर्म फॉर वेड ऑफ पल्स एंड वेड इज गिवन टू यू सो हाउ वी कैन जनरेट दैट पल्स using signals so that is what the case that i'll explain you and also i'll explain you how we can translate that in terms of laplace domain right so let us see the question first so here you can observe a pulse of width a is applied to rl circuit shown in figure so here we are having source which is generating pulse and its width is a and rl circuit is given we are dealing with to find i of t using laplace transformation so current is i that we are dealing with to find in terms of time domain using laplace transform and also we need to plot waveform of i of t right so here first of all we need to understand what is given in terms of source so see this source is having a pulse and width of this pulse that is a so first of all you should understand how to generate this pulse right then only you can be able to solve question right over here so let me explain you how we can generate this pulse so here we are having time axis right and see this is amplitude and let us say pulse is starting from t is equals to 0 and its width is given right its width is how much width is a and magnitude is 1 right so how to generate this pulse so to generate this pulse all we need to do is you see one waveform that will start from here right and if i say this is what step signal right and it is starting from 0 so what is this signal this signal is u of t right now if i say from here i need minus 1 magnitude right if you i add with this so if i have another signal which is happening from here right and it is having time period a from here right as this pulse width is a so what is this signal this signal is having minus 1 magnitude right so i can say minus u of t and it is shifted by a so minus a that i need to write so when you add u of t with minus u of t minus a it will make this pulse right so this pulse function that is what practically it is u of t minus u of t minus a for width of a in time period right so function is this right so when you write function in time domain it will be u of t minus u of t minus a for this function right now what we want is we wanted to have i of t so first we need to convert this circuit in terms of laplace domain then we can calculate the value of i of s and then we will apply inverse laplace to have the value of i of t right so now what i'll do is i'll replace all these elements in terms of laplace domain so you see this source that is practically u of t minus u of t minus a so in laplace domain for u of t it is 1 by s minus for u of t minus a you should know the property where for shifted version e to the power minus a s that i need to multiply and for u of t it is 1 by s right so that is what the equivalent laplace domain for this u of t minus u of t minus a right now for resistance it is staying constant only so one will be the impedance which is there with resistance 
for inductor equivalent Laplace is what L into S L is 1 so here 1 into S means S so now I have all the equivalent Laplace and this current that will be now I of S right now what we need to do is we need to simply solve equations and based on that I can have the value of I of S right so what I'll do is I'll consider this loop in that current is I of S and let us apply KVL in this loop so if you apply KVL in this loop you see we are having this voltage source and it is happening from minus 2 plus as it is happening from minus 2 plus it will be positive and its value is this so that is 1 divided by s minus e to the power minus a s divided by s and that is equals to potential across elements so potential across element is how much impedance into current impedance of resistance is 1 so 1 into i of s current and potential across inductor is impedance of inductor that is s into current i of s so plus s into i of s so now i can have i of s so you see what i am doing is i of s that is common and 1 plus s that i am having right and that is equals to now you see 1 by s is common right and into 1 minus e to the power minus a s so now i can say i of s that will be 1 minus e to the power minus a s divided by s into s plus 1 right now see directly we cannot have inverse laplace of this so let me take terms separately so 1 is 1 divided by s s plus 1 and second is minus e to the power minus a s divided by s plus s into s plus 1 right now see 1 divided by s into s plus 1 that we need to separate right so what i'll do is i'll use partial fraction expansion so in partial fraction expansion all we need to do is we need to consider that 1 divided by s into s plus 1 that is equivalent of a divided by s plus b divided by s plus 1 right and if you take lcm then that will be 1 is equals to a into s plus 1 plus b into s so now what i will do is we will take the value of s to get the value of a and b so let us take s is equals to 0 as if you take s is equals to 0 this term will get 0 so you will be having 1 is equals to a into 1 so I can say a is equals to 1 and if you take s is equals to minus 1 then minus 1 plus 1 that will be 0 so b into 1 b into minus 1 that we will be having right so I will be having 1 is equals to b into minus 1 so b is equals to minus 1 right so now I got the value of a and b so I can further separate these terms and we can have inverse Laplace of it so let me write that first so now see this 1 by s that I need to write as a is equals to 1 and minus I am writing why the reason is b is minus 1 1 divided by s plus 1 that is what equivalent of 1 divided by s s plus 1 right minus now see e to the power minus a s that I am writing over here divided by s minus e to the power minus a s divided by s plus 1 right that is even we can have by partial fraction which we have done it over here right now with this term we can apply inverse Laplace so if you apply inverse Laplace this will be now i of t that is equals to c 1 by s that is unit step in inverse Laplace right so that will be u of t minus now you see 1 by s plus 1 that inverse Laplace is 
e to the power minus 1 into t means e to the power minus t u of t right now that bracket is complete minus again you see e to the power minus a s by s so here time shifting that we need to apply 1 by s inverse laplace is how much u of t right but here e to the power minus a s is multiplied so inverse laplace of this that is u of t minus a right as time shifting property is there now minus c here 1 by s plus 1 is there into e to the power minus a t is there so as per a time shifting property what will be inverse laplace of this so see for 1 by s plus 1 inverse laplace is e to the power minus t into u of t so here now time is shifted by minus a right so instead of t you should write t minus a so for this inverse laplace will be e to the power minus t minus a into u of t minus a see this is how inverse laplace will be there right now what i'll do is i'll simplify this further so in that you see if you take u of t common then 1 minus e to the power minus t into u of t minus now you see 1 minus e to the power minus t minus a into u of t minus a that is how function is there right so th this is quite interesting now if you observe our question so in question what was the question we are dealing with to plot the waveform c1 right so as if you want to plot waveform then first of all you should know what is this value in terms of waveform right so what i'll do is i'll separately plot both of these waveforms first now if you see our input is what our input that is pulse right and its width is a with respect to time and in amplitude its amplitude is 1 right now let me show you what is this function first right so 1 minus e to the power minus t into u of t so it start from t is equals to 0 first of all and if you place t is equals to 0 what is its value at t is equals to 0 its value that will be 1 minus e to the power 0 so that is 1 minus 1 means 0 and as t increases exponentially it will increase right so you see its value will be something like this its value will be something like this so this is what 1 minus e to the power minus t into u of t now let me show you second function so that is this function right so you see that is starting from u of t minus a means it is starting from a and when you place t is equals to a 1 minus e to the power 0 so that will be 0 right why the reason is 1 minus e to the power 0 that is 1 so 1 minus 1 so that will be 0 so it will start from here and as time increases see this is having negative value over here so it will decrease like this so this is what minus of 1 minus e to the power minus t minus a into u of t minus a now what will happen when you add both of this signal so see when you add both of this signal so from 0 to a it will be happening like this right but from a onwards when you sum this two it will decrease like this so that is what i of t which is algebraic sum of this two i hope you have understood this this is quite tricky but it is interesting you should have proper understanding like how signals are happening right this is even helpful in signal and system subject so what i have done is i have merged two subject over here in this example so that it, it should be clear to you as well as it should improve your understanding regarding 
engineering i hope it is clear to you now thank you so much for watching this video